Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Wait, you did not do that right. There you go. Take two. Hey, hey guys. guys, it's Sophie and Kyla, and welcome back to our channel, XOXO Blondies. Okay, so today we are going to be doing a makeup transformation makeover on Kyla. Well, I'm going to be doing it on yeah, Kyla. That's why I look so gross right now. <laughs> so I have an inspiration photo. I'll put it up right here, but I'm kind of going to do my own thing because I don't know. Yes. I'm just. You're going to see. Sophie speak. is unbelievable in makeup. She's so good. We're going to kind of talk about it throughout the yeah. whole video. So before we get into it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, yes. and yeah, let's get into the video. I'm going to, I have so much going on either. I'm going to clip her hair back because we do not want makeup in her hair. Yes. I'm Especially not, blonde look. hair. You can see it very easily. Yeah. Now I have all my makeup right here and a bunch of drawers. Mm -hmm. So, so first, very, like, organized, I'm so. gonna be putting primer on her. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty one. I'm not really sure. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte one. And we're not really going for natural today. We're kind of going no, we're for going, like a glam. Yeah. But oh, I already moisturized my face too before yeah. this. So. And also, this is a fun fact. I like did never went to makeup school or beauty school or anything. I just kind of mm -hmm. taught myself. Yeah, she's all self-taught. She's amazing. I wanted like, kind of to go to beauty school because that's beauty's like um, a big interest of mine, mm -hmm. but haven't yeah. had the time to do that yet. She'll literally sit like all day and just watch YouTube videos and then she'll come out with this like amazing makeup look on. And it's funny because I feel like you're more like you do wear more natural makeup, but you love like I watching love, videos yeah. and you love getting new makeup and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Hourglass foundation and this is kind of, I don't really have like Ooh. a... Well, that was one. <laughs> I don't really have a, um, like, I kind of do different things all the time. Like, I don't really have just one yeah. skincare. And then I'm going to be mixing it with the Luminous Silk Foundation. Yeah. Like, Where's your every day. blender? Because I'm not going to use mine because oh. I'm clean freak. going to be putting this on. Mm -hmm. I feel face. like you haven't done my makeup in so yeah. long. Um, this is like, I think this is what I would use when I did um, competitions because yeah, for we, competition makeup you want um, it like just thicker because mm -hmm. when you're on the stage it's kind of yeah. hard to see. What? So I was never that obviously good at makeup when I was younger and it was kind of like harder for me but Sophie was always so good at it and she started doing her competition makeup at like such a young age I feel like. Yeah, because my mom would do my makeup and she didn't like and it. And I hated how she did it. Like my eyeshadow was always like different <laughs> shapes like one shape would be like kind of like a wing the other shape would be round mm -hmm. and I always would not um like that yeah so so I would like I never did my own because I was so bad at it but Sophie would always do her own and it looks yeah. so good I hate when makeup looks cakey yeah but sometimes it's hard. I struggle with getting makeup to like not look cakey because I always like. Well, and it's more also on. hard with um with acne. Like when yeah. you're trying to cover that, and then you just like yeah. Like right now, my and face. when when your skin is like textured, then mm -hmm. makeup doesn't really look the best. Yeah. Next, I'm gonna be contouring kind of with um concealer, but a darker concealer. So. Because this kind of um, gives it more coverage, but you're also contouring a little. Mm. So now I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and cover up her blemishes. I do not use this on the daily. This is only when I'm doing more of a thick um, like for full coverage kind of makeup look or if I have a really bad blemish that won't cover with my other concealer What concealer do you use every day? I think it's like a Dior one. Ow What? You poke hard I'm getting it on my pimples Okay, so I'm gonna cover First I'm gonna cover and then I'll highlight But first we're just gonna cover everything up that needs to be covered up and when you're trying to cover a blemish, you want to pat. First, I like to pat, and then I'll kind of drag it out around it um, so it can stay covered. Sophie's always been blessed with amazing skin. So. 
yeah. Luckily, I have not, like, I get pimples here and there, but I've not really struggled that much with bad acne ever, luckily. I'm now I'm gonna be doing it under her eyes. As you can see also, Sophie's a little aggressive when she does makeup, which is fine. Well, but try to blend it. when you first started doing it, I'm like, oh my gosh, because she like goes like this really hard. And when she does my eyes, oh, she goes really hard, but it's okay, but it's funny. Sadly, with quarantine and everything, she has nowhere to go after this. Yeah. Her eyes are always like, like that when I try and do her makeup. Okay. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Translucent Powder. And then I'm gonna be using a mini beauty blender. And I'm gonna <laughs> so put cute. that under her eyes, okay? With makeup, there's not like, there's obviously things you should and like, there's obviously, there's not really rules, but there's like things like, okay, once you put powder, you probably shouldn't put cream because it's not going to blend out as easily, like on top of a um, powder. But like, there's not really a right or wrong, kind of everything is just depending on your skin and how you like it and what looks, like what works best for you. Like I know some of my like this. friends or even Kyla probably does stuff that if I did it wouldn't work on me or I probably do stuff that wouldn't work on other people. So it kind of just all depends mm -hmm. on what works best for your skin. Normally I'll go in two, two times. And if it's really not covering after I go in two times, kind of just give up on covering it up because the more you try to cover it, the more like cakey and stuff it's gonna get. But I like to take a lot of the powder and pack it on blemishes. I have so many. You do. Oh, I also have one. Oh, you took the gingerbread one, right? Yeah, I have two of the Too Faced gingerbread. I have you the those? Too Faced gingerbread extra spicy, and then I have the original one. I like it because they smell so yummy. Yeah, they smell like cookies. Yeah, Kyla steals my makeup all the time. Like, this was in her, her room, <laughs> but it's fine. Well, a lot of times though we'll get stuff and we'll share. Like we'll get no. a palette and we'll be. Like, I got those for me. We don't want to get have two a lot of everything. Of Kylie palettes. Yeah. So I'm just gonna be putting like a light um, eyeshadow color, just to kind of have the base. Um, I'm just starting with the light brown and gonna put it in her crease. And for me, what works? In the camera see. I mean, yeah, it's like if you could help maybe like that. For me, what works is um. Actually, I'm not gonna use this brush yet. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna use the, like a little more compact one. Um, I just kind of go. I start and go like this, like a wing kind of, and then I curve it up and then just go throughout the crease. And it's all I think eyeshadow. It's pretty easy. It's just all about blending so well it's easy for you <laughs> okay I'm just gonna like hold her face with this so I'm not rubbing her makeup off actually we're gonna go back in and put a little bit more powder under her eyes because this way once I'm done with her eyeshadow if there's any fallout this will make it easy to just dust everything off mm -hmm. I'm gonna be taking so this was the first shade I took, right here. And then I'm gonna be taking this shade now. It's more of a warmer What's it called? brown. The shade is Gingerbread Glam. So now I'm gonna be taking that one. And this one, I'm gonna focus it more on like the outer part, like right here pretty much. I'm not gonna go all the way in. Now I'm going to take a different brush. Um, okay, so I'm going to take a fluffier brush now. And I cannot. Um, I'm kind of going to buff everything in with um, 
this shade called Soft and Sweet. It's like a pinky, more of a pinky shade, kind of. And I'm just going to blend all that. Just make sure it's extra blended. Fun fact about Sophie is that she did my makeup for prom for me. She did it for my pageants that I was in. And a lot of stuff like that she did my makeup for. Graduation, I think you did my makeup. Yeah, let me see. Okay. She's just so much better at the eyes than me. She just knows how to blend them and make them look good. I have a harder time with the eyes. Now I'm going to be taking another brush. <laughs> and I'm going to put... Um, okay, this... Darker... <laughs> really dark brown and I'm literally just going to be doing the right the babyest in the crease and this will just make more um damage another thing depends kind of on what eyeshadows you're using but <laughs> bless you the ones I'm using are pretty pigmented and you can always go back um with more but you it's kind of hard if you go in with way too much at first because I mean, you can blend that, but it's just easier to build it up rather than, like, go in and make it look bad because you did too much. Okay, I'm going to mix this shimmer. Um, it's called Drizzle It. It's kind of like darker and then I'm gonna mix Candy Queen this gold shimmer and put that in the center just in the center actually I'm gonna take my finger because that's way easier and you get way more of the color I'm just putting that like go a little closer okay. just right here like on this part okay. okay so now I'm gonna take the gold and pretty much put it like a little bit closer to the inner corner, but still not exactly the inner corner. Because I like to um, lighten it up. Like, the outer corner should be the darkest, and the inner corner should be the lightest. I'm going to take this cookie cutter shade, it's a shimmer, right here, and put that a little bit more to the inner corner. <laughs> Slowly but surely, um, working our way to the inner corner. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking this shimmery shade. It's called 445 from the, a Kylie palette. Put this on the very inner corner. This one is super duper. Sparkly. This is the look so far. Close your eyes. Can they even close your eye? Can you? See? I don't know if they can really see that good, but um, that's what it looks like. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna be taking a little bit of this goldy shade from a highlight palette I have from Too Faced, and um, put just teeny bit of this on like blending the shades together, kind of. Okay, now I'm going to be doing a liquid liner. So I'm going to be taking this black tart one. It's called Sex Kitter? Sex Kitten. <laughs> Sex Kitten! One eye done. That's definitely more eye to go. the hardest part for me. Now we have to make them even. The wing liner is done. Okay, now I'm gonna brush this powder off. This Kylie powder, it's just like, I'm just gonna put it all over the face. I think it's like a perfecting one, I'm not really sure. I'm 
Now I'm gonna contour and bronze. I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. And I'm just gonna be going right here. Like, um, what's it called? Your, under your cheekbone, kinda. And then I'm gonna be putting some on the forehead. Outline of the forehead. Okay, so for the bronzer, I'm using a Kylie one. And I'm, the same brush I'm taking. And now this is gonna go more um, on the upper cheeks, kinda. Like, this is kind of just blending everything, like the contour with everything, I guess you could say. Now I'm gonna go in with highlighter. I love highlighter so much, so I'm gonna be using a couple. The first one I'm gonna use is the Charlotte Tilbury, I think it's like, what's it called? Bar of Gold palette. And it has a couple and I just mix them all together. And I'm just going to be putting this right um, on your cheekbone, like, but the like top part, like right here. You don't want to. I don't bring this in. I mean, I, this is what I do on myself, and I'm doing the same thing on her. I don't bring it in past like right here because you don't want to. I kind of need some more because yours looks good and mine doesn't. Um, you don't want to bring it in past right here because. Then it accentuates your pores and makes everything look like you don't want to highlight what you don't want to see, pretty much. Like, so if you have a pimple, don't put highlighter on your pimple because that's just going to make you see it more. Okay, and then I'm going to be taking just the lightest one and putting this on her, down her nose. Okay, then I'm going to be taking a Kylie one. Um, this is in the shade Snow Angel. It's really like light. I'm going to be popping this in the inner corner of her eye. I'll put a little bit of this one right on the tip because this one's super, um, what's it, like more whitish looking. So you don't want to put, I don't put this all over the face and just, and I'm actually going to put this one a little bit on the um, brow bone. I'm going to be doing under the eye. Um, eyeshadow under the eye. So I'm going to be taking the first light shade that I used and then just do this first under the eye. I'm going to be taking a little brush now and take the darker one and kind of put this more um, like on the outer part of the under eye. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking blush, I'm going to be mixing this shade and this shade. This is from a palette called Lovecraft Beauty. I have no idea where I got this, but yeah. I'm just putting this on her cheek, um, like the balls of her cheek, and kind of blending it a little bit into the bronzer so it doesn't look. And I'm going to be putting a little bit of this on her like nose right here, because that kind of just gives it that sun kiss. Okay, so now Kyla did her mascara. She used the, I used the CoverGirl Clump Crasher just from like CVS. I don't know. Yeah. Good. And then normally we'd put lashes on, but we didn't have any today, so we didn't do that. But normally we would. We'd probably use like, are they called the Demi Wispies from CVS? Yeah. Those are the ones we use. But a I do lot. have long lashes, so. Yeah. I just put You can like too. go, do you want to go up closer so they can see? So far. See? Yeah. And then now, last, we're going to do lips. So I'm going to be using first line her lips with the Kylie um, Charm Lip Liner. Then I'm going to be using the Charm, same thing, um, lip. What is this one? Velvet lip thingy. And since we did such kind of like a bold eye, um, we wouldn't do red, but also, you know, go like that a little, yeah. Also what I like to do, um, if you don't do that bold of a eye or you just do like a liner, it's really pretty if you do um, red. red lips, but that would have been, I think, too much. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this 
um, Victoria's Secret cream liquid and showstopper and put this a little bit just in the center. It's more of a pinky one. I'm just gonna... yeah. Lastly, I'm going to take a Revlon um, new shine shine lipstick. I don't know. What it, that's what it says in the shade 40. No, 24. And it's red and I'm just going to put this like right in the very center. Now I'm going to use the Buxom lip gloss in sugar and put this over and pretty much just in like the center, I guess. Okay, I think we are done. Okay, so here's the finished product of Kyla's Transformation Makeover. It looks so pretty. <laughs> so if you guys like this video and would like to see more beauty related things, make sure to comment below and let us know because we can definitely do that. Yes. And now we can do the post notification shout outs from last video. Yes, so thank you so much to Kayla Cash, Hannah Williams, Lucy Roger, Natasha D, and Leah Roy. So thank you guys so much. And if you want to get shouted out in our next video, make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. And then comment down below a lipstick so we know that you did that so we can shout you out in next week's video. Yes, and also we do want to try to get to 10,000 subscribers. Yes. And once we hit that, we are going to do our first YouTube live and just chat we, with you guys. Yeah, I was going to say, we definitely want to chat with you guys and we think that would be super fun. So make sure to tell your friends about us and subscribe if you're not yes. because then we can do that eventually. And then also make sure to subscribe, like, comment, follow us on everything. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on TikTok and Instagram. Yeah. Everything is XOXO Blondies. And yeah, we hope you enjoyed this video and we love you lots. Love you. Mwah.